lucky what I got. It just came in the mail the other day and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get into what's inside here. So uh, let's do that. This is so reminiscent. <laughs> I love this. This is this is pretty cool how you can create right here on the box lid. That's awesome. Let's see, it looks like instructions. Boy, are those detailed. Looks like we're getting Marabou alcohol inks. This is all about alcohol inks and then the Marabou inks and all the different project tools that are in here and then even an idea on the back as to how to use them that is awesome oh I'm digging it I'm already liking this box already if, in case y'all didn't know I stopped getting the scroller box last month that was my last one and I started getting this one so <laughs> this is interesting do y'all remember these <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these didn't do too well on paper, so let's hope these do better. I go line brush pens. But these are in much brighter colors. So let's hope these do a lot better. Oh my gosh, look at all these inks. God. Number five. That's, and it's purple. Look. <laughs> I even sent a. Oh, heck yeah. Jolly Rancher. Blue Raspberry. My favorite. Finally, a piece of candy I can stomach. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, we're going to eat this one right now. Oh, yeah. That's one. Okay. Now my hands are all sticky. Jewelar Acetate Alternatives. Okay. Curious. I love how you can do like full size everything. That is awesome. Matte Jewelar. Polyester film with matte erasable coatings on both sides. Hmm. Oh wow. See how you can see through it kind of? And it's so slick. I mean super slick. And there's like a whole stack of it. I mean a whole stack of it. That's a lot. Well, this is new. This is that's a surface I have never used before, so that's gonna be interesting. And what is this? Ready cut watercolor paper. 500 series? This is only three sheets? Holy cow. 300, it's 400 pound, 300 GSM. But it feels so much thicker than that. I mean, it feels a lot thicker than that, so. Like, maybe just because it's a different brand and I'm not used to. I normally use B or, um, yeah, I use B. B watercolor paper. Wow. No, that's... That is nice paper. It's so thick. I mean, it's like really thick. At least by Strathmore, so that kind of explains that. Okay, so I'm gonna... Oops, don't fall. That looks like it's it. So... I'm sure that this is going to come with a some kind of a prompt, I would think. Let's check out this little paperwork here. Let's see if there is a prompt of some sort. Mm. I don't see any prompts. Oh, here it is. 
August 2019 Smart Art Weekly Prompts. Mushroom, Clouds, Escape, and Hungry. Hmm. I think I know what I want to do already. And it's going to uh, involve these two, Mushroom and Clouds. And Escape, maybe. Not hungry so much, but the other, the other three, for sure. But in one picture. I ain't got time to be doing this weekly. So let's, uh, let me go over all this so I can read up on the uh, tools and everything and see what I can't come up with. I'll be right back. So I kind of have an idea, but they did send us two different surfaces to work with. The, um, this strange Duralar net film something or other. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is and why they put it in the box. They do say it takes inks, so I was like, well, okay, we'll try that. And then they sent us the Strathmore watercolor paper. So I think what I'm going to do for just right now is I'm going to put this down underneath this while we mess around with this to keep everything off, off the desk. So, um, let's Break it open these. Let's see what I hope these are better than the last set. Oh, those were just horrible. They just tore the paper up. There was just really absolutely no point to them. So I'm hoping this is a little better. <coughs> a blender. Okay. Bet you these work better on this film and on watercolor paper because it, they just chew up watercolor paper. Um, okay, so there is literally not an easy way to open those things. You have to cut the tips off in order to get the ink out. So. That was interesting. So, I've mixed up a little bit of the purple and the yellow. Just not getting the color I want. I wanted some brown. Get some more in there. And get some brown. And it's a little better. yellow with a few drops of purple instead of the other way around. So messy. So I, I've, I've actually never worked with inks before, so this is going to be all, all new for me. So... This ought to be interesting. Let's see. Can't really get it to lay flat. Kind of an interesting feel. Like if man, it's this ink is just destroying this brush. It was nice and soft before, and even after rinsing it, it's just eating it. I can't quite wash it out. It's just destroying this brush. Ooh.
Okay, it's dry. So now we're gonna continue on with some other stuff here. I'm gonna try these. So there we are. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. Theodore Roosevelt. So I really enjoyed this box. This was just, I, I have so many more ideas for these inks. It's just ridiculous. I have so many ideas. And even these funky Ecoline pens that I hated before work awesome on these pages, on this, this paper that they send. It's it's really cool paper. I'm, I can't even call it paper. What is it called again? I can't never remember. It's called, oh, it's an acetate alternative by Duragar. And it's crazy. 
it just it is the neatest thing these inks if you if you all get a chance to pick up some of that and these inks please do because they're really really fun to play with they give off this almost like a stained glass kind of effect and um, yeah they're just way too fun and would you believe that the brush actually came back to life after I washed it really well? I mean, it's it's fine now. So I'm like really happy with that. So, um, yeah. Color me wrong when it comes to the Eco Lines. Um, they work great on this Astate. I still don't really trust them on regular paper paper. But, you know, on this stuff, they work brilliantly. Really well. So, but uh, that's this month's smart art box and I had a blast and like I said I have a bunch more ideas of them probably you'll probably see them on my Instagram but uh, I really had fun with this guys so if you're new here welcome make sure to st hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss out on any of the fun around here because this is not the last box I cannot wait for next month's box so and having said all that I love you all bunches. See you in my next video. Bye.